Welcome back, this is Tadmus Prime back with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Powers of the Primes, Brawn, and the Titans Returns Brawn, the Headmaster. We're going to start off with the big guy first. This, in my opinion, is the best Brawn that I've seen yet. This guy is beautiful. Um, I have a couple little issues, but they're minor. Um, first of all, I'd like to start off by uh, saying thank you to Adamantium, Matrix, and Amber. Um, it's because of them they donated this to me. These, both these, to me. Um... So, it's because of them that I get to do this review. And I love this guy. I've always wanted a brawn, but they never came out with a really good brawn. Uh, let's see how close I can get up. You can see there's actual, like, metal flake paint. Let's see if I can find a position where you can actually see it. You might notice on the front. The Autobot symbol, the original Tampograph, is like half of the size of that. So I put my own sticker on there. It looks off-center, but it's because the Autobot symbol is off-center. All the wheels roll really well. Um, I love the vehicle mode. I'm a little bit confused on the yellow on the side. Um... It just seems a bit out of place in vehicle mode. Front end, he's got a nice grill. I mean, it's pretty G1. Um, underneath, you can see it's it's brawn, but it's a car. You're, if you do have it in his alt mode, you're not going to be seeing that anyways. The biggest issue with this is that. It's pretty hollow in the back. But it's no major deal. Because this guy doesn't spend his time in this mode. Um, but yeah, that you know, the biggest thing that bothered me was how small the Autobot symbol was. I mean, if you consider that's twice as big as what was on it. For fuck's sake. It just made no sense to me. So thanks to Graham, the Collector 75, um, when he sent me the stickers for the uh, oversized knockoff Devastator, he also included the extra sheet that Repro Labels give you when you make an, when you place an order. I don't know if it's over fifteen dollars or whatnot. Um, dude, I'm flying through them fucking stickers. <laughs> I had never realized how how much I would utilize them. Um, yeah, I've been using the hell out of them. So, this guy here, he is he's amazing. Um, I've always wanted a brawn. I never wanted the G1 because it looked like shit. I didn't like the face. It didn't look... It was... Just, yeah, it, it wasn't as bad as, you know, Ironhide and Ratchet. Or Megatron, for that matter. As not looking like his cartoon counterpart but the face just was not doing it for me and uh i think i think i did have the classics and back then that one was really good um i didn't think that i had him and then i got to thinking last night i was like yeah i think i did in the first collection but his robot mode is amazing for a Legends class, or what do they call them, a Scout class now? The articulation is way better. Now, see, they gave him a nice big Autobot symbol on his chest. Right there. Which is like twice the size of the one on that I put on the front in his automobile mode. 
nice blue there on the waist. The head sculpt is amazing. Try to turn it so you guys can see it. Still trying to get my lighting placed your placing figured out. I want to show off the nice blue eyes that he has. But it's an amazing figure. For being so small, I mean, he's got great articulation. Uh, no ankle tilt. But for a Legends class, you know, that's fine. But, he, I mean, he's got everything else that you want in a figure. You can get, I mean, it's brawn. It, he was just a badass. He was just, he was a little man with big man syndrome. And it was, it was awesome. I, I just loved him in the cartoon. He was amazing. It also comes with this that comes off of the back. has a spare tire on it. Supposedly, you can put it on his arm for a shield. Looks like shit. Don't like it. Not that big of a shield guy on Transformers. So I just plug it right back on the back. Like that. And you never see it. Out of sight, out of mind. So. Now we'll take a look at the Titans Returns. Now this. This is a mixed bag. There were several issues that I had with this guy. Um, the main one being in his Jeep slash tank mode. Um, he didn't have an Autobot symbol. So I added one. Yet again, from that sticker sheet. And I, I understand why they didn't paint the faces on these guys. Come on, focus, you son of a bitch. That's so damn small. Because... You know, plugging them in with the other Titans Returns. Um, my issue <laughs> is that uh, it's got a better... Well, I'll get to that in a minute. But, I mean, it, it's got like a Jeep front end. Kind of. Which isn't bad. I don't mind this mode at all. And that's the handle there for when you turn into a gun. But we'll take him out. We'll take a look at him. Um, yeah, I mean, he has all the same articulation that every other headmaster has. Focus, you son of a dirty bitch. Not on me. There you go. Nice big screw hole in his chest, just like every other one has. The thing that irritates me is this has the better head sculpt of the two bots. I love the look on his face. I'll try to show off his eyes a little bit too. He's got a little bit lighter blue on the eyes. Come on, focus already. What the fuck is the deal here? Oh, you son of a bitch. Focus. Oh, 
I love that face he's making. If I could take and swap heads, that would be amazing. I think that'd be perfect. I mean, I I understand the gimmick with the Titans Returns, uh, with the Headmasters and stuff, but I don't get it at the same time. Like, why would I want to put Bronze Head on, let's say, Hot Rod? I just, to me, I don't, it doesn't make sense. I think it would make more sense if they came out with these and then you could put swap heads with this. That's just, I don't know. For me, that would be more practical. I, I, it, would, uh, it would have more playability for me. Um, but it is what it is, and it's a cool little figure. Um, like Adamantium said, you know, you get these guys, and you can, they go really well with your, your Titans. Uh, your Fort Maxes, your Metroplexes, your Trypticons. So, I mean, you get that extra playability out of it. Now, the next mode for this, I can see why a lot of people hate it and shit on it. It's a speeder bike. This is what it looks like to me from Star Wars. So I dig it. <laughs> but if you're not a Star Wars fan, I could see why you'd be like, what the fuck is this? But for me, I love it. It just, that's what it reminds me of is a speeder bike. Now granted, it's not a perfect rendition you have to use your imagination a little bit. Oh, you dirty bitch. There we go. Now, this is the one thing that irritates the shit out of me. This is his other alt mode. And the Autobot symbol is upside down. That makes no fucking sense. I don't get it. They did that so that it would be upright in his weapon mode. The only Autobot symbol they put on this fucker is for the Autobot mode. Or for the weapon mode. I don't get that. that that's just fucking stupid. It should have been in the Jeep mode and this mode turned the right way. Who gives a fuck about the weapon if it's got an Autobot symbol on it? It doesn't make sense. And then this. Why in the fuck are you putting the number on there? Uh, it's green molded plastic, so I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to get rid of that shit. That just looks so bad. It's so out of place. So with some rubbing alcohol, take that shit right off and it'll be gone. I just haven't done it yet. Now... It turns into a weapon. Just take him out. Fold the front back. Like you're transforming it back into the Jeep mode. This is what I'm going to call it. I don't know what a tank. Jeep tank. I don't know. And then his head plugs in here. And you're going to be difficult on me, aren't you? Just because I'm on camera. Okay. And that is his weapon mode.
Wait a minute. I did that wrong. The speeder bike is upside down. So the speeder bike is the mode where the Autobot symbol is right. It looks so similar upside down. It really does. The only thing that really gives it away is the handle. Yeah, I fucked that up. But this is his weapon mode. You just take the back from his speeder bike mode and just bring those forward so the so the guns are facing forward. And he can hold his own gun. Now that's a fucking boomstick. This is not something that gets used much. Um, it's usually in the tank mode is what I usually keep it in. Unless I'm going to display it with the uh, Titans. Uh, it's a little bit heavy. I mean, you, he, he can stand and hold it, but it works a little better for Voyager class. Then the scout class. But I love this, man. I finally got a decent looking brawn. And it is amazing. Um, I forgot to show. This opens up in the back and you can just kind of tuck him in the back. So brawn can drive brawn. Which makes no sense to me, but that's okay. If you have the rest of the Titan Masters, then you can you can use other Titan Masters, you know, to drive around and stuff. So, but I've only got two. I've got Spike. It came with Fort Max, and then I got Bronze. So, but yeah, I, I the weapon it's meh. It doesn't doesn't hurt it. I don't hate it. Um, I like the, the tank mode. I think that looks kind of cool. The speeder bike mode. If it wasn't for being a Star Wars fan. I probably wouldn't like it. But I'm a big Star Wars fan. And I really like the speeder bikes. So I always thought that was really cool. When I seen this I was like. Wow it's like the speeder bikes. But yeah, if you guys, if you haven't picked up the Power of the Primes Brawn, I highly suggest this guy. He is amazing. He really is. Um, you'll definitely want to get a bigger Autobot symbol though for the back or for the hood in his alt mode because that was... I, sh I was going to show how small it was before I put the sticker on, but I, I just decided to put the sticker on. I was like, fuck it, I want to put it on. I was doing, stickering up some other Transformers at the same time, so I was like, I'll just throw it on. But seeing as how that's twice the size of the original, mm, nah, that's, that was small. I mean, it was... This, if I can get shit to focus today, that is bigger, well, I don't know, they're about the same, yeah, they're about the same size, but on the tiny little fucker, they put a bigger sticker on it, which made no sense, sometimes Hasbro just confuses the fuck out of me. But, uh, yeah, but, I mean, really, there isn't a whole lot more than me just keeping saying over and over again how awesome this guy is and how much I love him. I got me a fucking brawn. Um, my goal is to uh, get the wreckers. So I got 
part of them. <laughs> um, yeah, I just got turned on to the Wreckers not too long ago, and uh, fucking love them. All oh, their badasses. Oh, and then with Siege. Um, God, I can never remember his fucking name. Every time I talk to somebody about the Wreckers, I'm like, ah, oh, what the hell is his name? Yeah, he was the leader. But uh, they're bringing him out. So I'm looking forward to hopefully getting that. Um, and then Springer. Uh, he was part of the Wreckers. And Siege is releasing him too. And that looks amazing. Oh my god. That looks fucking awesome. Alright. There we go again. Um, taking two of the really smallest figures and turning it into a half hour long video. How the fuck did I get away with doing 10 minute videos back 10 years ago? God, I don't know. I just ramble and repeat. Alright guys, um, thanks again to Adamantium Matrix and Amber. I really love these guys. I really do. Um, they fit with my Transformers collection so well. I am so stoked to finally have a brawn that is amazing. With great articulation, he looks so good. The head sculpt, even though I like the other head sculpt better on the uh, Titan Returns. The head sculpt on that is still very true. And you can turn him. It turns 360. So, I mean, you can get really good poses out of it. It's got a real nice Autobot symbol on the chest. Yeah, repeating myself. The only thing, yeah, that is back where he's in his alt mode. It's a little hollow. And then the yellow, I don't, I just don't get. Because even in robot mode, the yellow is on the bottom of his forearms. So, you don't really see it. I don't, I don't get that. That makes no sense to me. Why they did that. It's not like it's touching. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's not touching any yellow on, you know, the chest in, in his robot mode. Alright guys. Well, this has been Tatumus Prime with an actual Transformers review. Uh, I've been doing a lot of other shit. I've been kind of busy um, working on uh, the talking with Taddy and been talking with some other people and helping some other people out doing doing some other little projects and shit. And I've got other people that I'm going to be helping out. So today's going to be uh, record a shit ton of videos, have them for backup, and then release them so I can <laughs> help do other stuff too. Um, because I try to help out anybody that has any questions or needs, you know, that's starting out that wants any assistance. I do what I can to help. I mean, that's just the way the community is. That's the way it should be. Um, yeah, I mean, Adamanium said it perfect in his last video. Um, we're not competing against each other. We're here to help each other grow as a community. And it's not a competition. At least it's not for me. It never has been. It's never been, oh, I want to see if I can get more subs than you. Or No. I, well, what the fuck's the point in that? Then then it becomes a competition, and that's not fun. That, that just takes fun out of this. All right, guys. Until next time. Rock the fuck on.